how are you all? Okay. Um, I would just like to say, give you a mantra. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. And I'd really like you to start saying that every day. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. And I've got that mantra from Access Consciousness. And if you've never heard of it, please look it up because the two guys that um, are Access Consciousness are gorgeous. And um, they're well worth having a look at and having a listen to if you do nothing else. Go to Access Consciousness and there's loads of free video stuff you can watch and find out more about what Access Consciousness is all about. Access Consciousness itself is all about staying in the question. So standing here, I'm asking myself, how does it get any better than this? And not coming to a conclusion. What else is possible? What else is possible that I've never even considered yet? Um, a few years ago, I contracted Lyme's disease, and as a result of that, and no diagnosis, I ended up with chronic fatigue. Um, through energy work, EFT, Psych K, and help from Peter with kinesiology, mindfulness, listening to lots of relaxation, DB, um, CDs, I actually got myself quite well, and then I plateaued. When I was doing the EFT course, I met a wonderful lady called Fiona. And um, she was, she'd had ME for quite some time, and she was looking for ways to help herself get better. I kept bumping into her at Mind, Body, Spirit events, and she was still feeling plateaued where her energy was concerned. She couldn't really get herself going as well as she'd like to. Made friends with her on Facebook, as you do, and then suddenly her whole um, conversation started to change. And she started to say things like, I'm dancing around my kitchen. How does it get any better than this? And I thought, that's unusual. She doesn't normally do that. And then she started flying places. She was in Spain. She was going to London. She was going to Venice. She's in India at the moment. And I thought, what's she doing? Because I knew what she was like. So I stalked her for a while, <laughs> watching where she was up to, as you do with Facebook. It's great for that, isn't it? Other social media platforms are available. <laughs> um, but Facebook's the best for stalking, it really is. Um, I don't do it often. And in the end, I contacted her and I said, what are you doing? And can I use those phrases? Is that all right? And she said, yes, because it's not mine. Look up Access Consciousness. So how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? And then I thought, right, I've got to experience this. So I went on a day's course with her and um, I sat there. I'd gone to Manchester, I'd paid this money and she started doing um, some of the access work. And she started using clearing statements, which sound really odd as well. So the clearing statement consists of right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pop, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And I sat there and I looked at her and I could feel myself getting cross. And I said to her, <laughs> I don't get it. I've come all this way, I paid all this money. What are you saying to me? And she just burst out laughing. And then as the day went on, I realized just something was happening. There was a magic happening and it was around that clearing statement. And at the end of the day, she started to talk about access bars. And I thought, I've got to do this. And I didn't know what it was. So I said, when are you doing it? And it was two weeks' time. I thought, oh, how am I going to do that? And she just said, what else is possible? And I stayed in the question, what else is possible? How does it get any better than this? And two weeks later, I did a day's training in Access Bars. Access Bars is um, 32 points on the head that relate to um, judgments that we make. So about money, how, how many have you got enough? How many of you in the room think you've got enough money? You know, things like that. Your health, how is your health at the moment? 32 points on the head that when they're touched in sequence, help to unblock those bars of energy um, and start to delete those files that we keep in our head office that actually aren't serving us. They've been there forever. And it's that little voice that comes into our head that judges us and nobody else does it as well as we do it to ourselves. So when you have your bars run, is what it's called, you're starting to run a bar of energy. You lie down and somebody's touching all these bars for you and it's a case of gifting and receiving this energy. So if I'm the one holding your head, I'm gifting and I'm receiving from you at the same time and vice versa. So Peter's had her bars run a couple of times and 
it's really, really relaxing. The two guys I was talking about to start with, Gary Douglas is the founder of Access Consciousness and Access Bars. He feels he was gifted and it's, it creates the foundation of Access Consciousness. His partner, uh, business partner, Dane Hare, um, was at a point in his life where it looked on the surface <coughs> as though everything was going really well for him. He was a chiropractor, they're both American, um, he had a very successful practice, a girlfriend, you know, a property, everything that from the outside looked as though life was doing, he was going really well for him. Except he was getting up every morning and he was just really depressed and would cry before he went to work. He hated his life and he made a pact with himself that if something didn't change, he was going to kill himself and he gave it six months. And in that six months, if his life hadn't turned around, he wouldn't have been here. In a local newspaper, he saw, all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory, a name and a telephone number. And he thought, well, what have I got to lose? So he rang that number and he went and had his bars run. And he says, if he hadn't had his bars run, he wouldn't have been here. It completely changed his life. And so Gary Douglas and Dane Hare say that about access bars, it can be the most relaxing thing you do. That's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, it can completely change your life. If you'd like to know more about it, I've got a little table over there and you can come and get a head chart so you can look at the bars yourself and the points that run. I run courses. I'm one of only two people in the area that actually teaches these courses. They're really simple. One day, that's all, and you can be an Access Bars practitioner. And that's what they want. The simplicity of it means anybody can learn it, uh, children included. So if you want to know more about CIS bars, I'd be delighted to have a chat with you.